My name's Anthony Napolitan, and I ride BMX bikes professionally. I'm at uh, Disc Sports and Spine right now, and uh, I'm about to go under for an ankle surgery. So my ankle has been kind of bothering me for about four years now. It's been like an on and off battle every year. Ankle stability is, is very important in BMX. We're always standing on the pedals. Um, you know, the bike is spinning around and you're catching pedals with your feet. And um, you have to have pretty sturdy ankles. It's literally just kind of made my riding stay at a standstill. I haven't really been able to push myself to do anything out of my comfort zone because you know, the littlest thing can set it off and put me off my bike for like two weeks probably. This year I'm finally just kind of over it and figured it's about time to do something about it. So I'm just psyched to go under the knife and finally get it cleaned up and fixed. That way I can, you know, keep progressing. Well, there's a couple things going on. I have two kind of big bone spurs and um, those were created from old fractures that I didn't realize I had. So um, those kind of like tear away at the muscle a little bit. I have a lot of scar tissue and that's like a lot of the problems too. And the bone spurs kind of created all that scar tissue. But I'm pretty excited to finally get it all cleaned out and, and, and get that strength back in my ankle and get the stability in the full range of, mo of movement as well. Like I haven't had full range of movement in my ankle for uh, almost four years now. So it'll be nice to kind of get that back and have that room for error so that if I do mess something up, like I'll have that extra few degrees to bend at my ankle and not put me in agonizing pain. We just treated Anthony uh, Napolitan, um, who sustained uh, several injuries throughout his uh, BMX and riding career. We did a significant and lengthy clean out of his ankle joint. I was not surprised with how much scar tissue he had in his ankle joint. I think his prognosis is excellent. He's not immobilized in a cast or a splint. He's in phenomenal shape and he's got the Red Bull mentality to push through things and train very hard. Our goal is to start range of motion hopefully within the next three to four days um, and hopefully get him training and riding again within a week to 10 days.